What's going on, Gemini? I am your dope astrologer and tarot reader. This is a reading about who is thinking about you, not who you are thinking about, because from my experience, sometimes who you're thinking about isn't the isn't who you want and they're not thinking about you. So I wanted to switch it up a little bit. So this reading is dedicated to the person that is thinking about you. So welcome to my channel. I hope you are well. I hope you are safe. Happy New Year. We are out of Mercury retrograde and we are in the post shadow phase of that. So relationships, maybe you disconnected from someone. Maybe there was an argument. Maybe there was miscommunication in a relationship of significance. So a romantic relationship. Um, possibly with a business partnership or the relationship that you have with a friend, family member, specifically, um, you know, maybe the relationship with your father or, you know, a specific man in your life could have been significant as well. There was a lot of talk about your relationship and this was either coming from you or from other people. Okay. So, Gemini, let's get into it. Who is thinking about you? Possibly a Taurus. Um, Taurus energy with the Hierophant. This is um, the overall energy of this is a relationship, family, morals, ethics, religion, spirituality, um, tradition. This is also talking about healing on a spiritual level. So let's see, who is thinking about Gemini? Who is this person, first of all? Who is this person thinking about Gemini? Could be a family member with the Four of Wands, someone that you live with, someone that you could have lived with, someone that... Um, you could have been in a relationship at one point and it could have been a pretty serious relationship. Maybe the two of you talked about moving in, getting married, king of wands in reverse. They could be an Aries as well. This is like playboy, playgirl energy, someone who may not have been faithful. This is um, also indicating like an issue with the father of your child, um, your father. This is also someone who had or has commitment issues. Sorry about that, Gemini. Yeah, so this is, like I said, someone that you could have been in a long-term relationship or they could be a family member. Aries, they could have, be an Aries. They could have it in their chart. You could have it in your chart. One of the reasons if you um, are not with this person or talking to this person, one of the reasons could be because they're not, first of all, they're not, um, they have commitment issues, like I said before, and they could be unreliable. Five of Wands in reverse, there could have been an attempt to like solve whatever issue you had or come to some sort of agreement recently. How do they feel about Gemini? Sagittarius energy with the temperance card. Um, they want to resolve whatever happened between the two of you, even though it may not seem like it. With the King of Wands in reverse, it also could um, come across as someone who's mad, who um, could be a little unreasonable, have a bad temper. Temperance is their feelings. This is someone they do want to find some kind of resolve. They do want to find some type of resolution to this. This is someone who's also trying to have patience. It may not be easy. 
Ace of Cups in reverse is talking about there's a breakdown of communication, there's a disconnect, there's a breakup in this relationship. Five of Swords in reverse. Yeah, this person is mad. Seven of Seven of Pentacles in reverse. This person is like they don't really feel like giving to this anymore. But on the other hand, they don't like feeling like this. People only want to call me when I'm filming. I could be in here on the couch, minding my business, won't nobody call. Soon as I press record, everybody want to call. Yeah. Sorry about that, Gemini. But um, yeah, there is, um, this person is mad. This person could feel like you took something the wrong way. Um, someone feels like you're not listening you're not hearing them what's this five of uh swords in reverse someone could be just really mad that you broke up with them you don't want to talk to them the chariot in reverse five of pentacles this is again more family energy home energy this is also cancer energy so um When it comes to this person's feelings, Gemini, you probably wouldn't think that they miss you, that they have romantic or sentimental feelings towards you because this feels like an argument, like a knockout, drag out argument. Somebody's feelings got hurt, yelling, cussing. Like this was, this is coming across as a bad argument, a bad situation. Um, they feel very emotional with the chariot in reverse. This is like grief energy. This is someone who the relationship that they had with you was very important to them. How do you feel about this person? Ace of Wands in reverse are your feelings. Um, it's like you don't have any motivation to like fix it or talk to this person even. You recognize that this is a loss. Some of you are okay with this being a loss, this person being a loss, this relationship. More Aries energy. You could also feel like you want to talk to this person. Um, I don't, with the Ace of Wands in reverse, I don't see that you'll be making an effort to do that. <clears throat> what happened? Something came out with the High Priestess in reverse. A, a secret came out. Um... A secret came out that had to do with like a family secret because I'm seeing all these family cards. Um, a Pisces could be significant. Um, someone's mental health, someone's stint in jail, someone's stint in the hospital, well not stint, well someone's stay in the hospital, someone's health, someone's mental health could be the reason for this. This like, yeah, this is like an argument hurt feelings someone feels betrayed as well what action do they want to take towards Gemini ace of Pentacles the world the magician they want to start over um, they don't see they don't feel like all is lost Aquarius energy here, Gemini energy and Virgo energy with the magician. They don't feel that all is lost. They are open to having um, another conversation, but a conversation that's going to heal the situation and bring some type of resolution. Did I say Aquarius energy? Yeah, Aquarius energy. They want a new beginning. They want some type of 
positive change between the two of you. What's the outcome, best case scenario? Four of Cups in reverse. Getting over this disappointment, this heartbreak, and having a fresh start is their um, end goal or the outcome here. How will this happen? Knight of Wands in reverse. Knight of Cups. Four of Swords. Time. Time is needed. Time to heal. Time to, to sort out what happened. To go over what happened. Like I was saying before, we are in the post shadow phase of Mercury retrograde. So if this was an argument that happened you know, during the holidays while Mercury was retrograde. Time apart is needed. Someone needs to rethink and reassess and reevaluate what was said, how it was said, just the situation in general. Knight, Knight of Wands in reverse. This someone needs time to cool off, basically. And once they cool off, they'll be in their Knight of Cups energy, ready to talk, ready to be level headed, ready to lead with emotion in their heart instead of anger. Taking action towards healing this situation. I really feel like this is a bad situation. And if someone pushes the other is just going to make it worse you need to let this person give them time to cool off gemini give me a thumbs up if this has resonated so far let me draw some romance oracle cards let your friends help you you know some of you um, you may not want to let people know what's going on with your relationship and or your family. Some of you need to talk. Some of you need to vent. Some of you need to talk to someone that you can trust. And then we have pay attention to the red flags. I feel someone in this situation is upset and feels so passionately about this because they feel like they were betrayed due to some type of secret that came out, due to something secretive that they expressed. It could have been, you know, Gemini, you may be going in with the father or the mother of your child because you feel like they're being an absent parent. Um, or maybe you feel this way towards your parents, you know, um, someone feels betrayed by a family member. Codependency came out in reverse. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Do not allow any type of vice to help you with this. That's why I was saying it's probably very important that you talk to someone, whether it's a therapist, a licensed professional, or just a friend that you can trust. Give this person time, Gemini, to heal and to calm down. And I feel like in the near future, You'll be able to have a conversation with this person. Um, it may be as early as um, Aries season, which is the start of spring. <clears throat> yeah, separation is needed right now. Yeah, separation. You, Separation is needed. Like I said before, if you push... It's just going to make it worse. So I hope this was helpful. Gemini, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I'll see you on the next one.